RSS Supreme has successfully achieved all her missions. With the completion of Exercise Rimpack, the ship and her crew are now homeward bound. I think with this long deployment, definitely it's uh, unavoidable that uh, everybody will have a certain level of home seat, if, regardless of the appointments and the rank and the seniority. Past two months of deployment, uh, things hasn't been really easy. The ship has helped us to make sure that we get contact with our family members. So, I mean, I was able to call back my family and video time. I still get to keep in touch with them via WhatsApp or Telegram. Uh, especially for my grandma, I need to like at least talk to her. But uh, my family members have always been uh, updating about my grandma, my status and also her status. Being away from home and our loved ones is never easy. The support of the crew is critical during this deployment. We have varieties of activities such as movie under the stars, barbecue at the helipad, as well as national education activities during the national day. On top of that, we have daily workouts and to inject an element of fun, um, we actually organise activities for the inter-house competition as well. Can each of the house, can you go and select three members from your house? These three persons will be labelled as PO. I enjoy being the MC and organising events for my fellow ship crew. Seeing them laughing and enjoying themselves, it kind of gives me motivation to think of more ideas to boost everyone's morale on board the ship. These activities are important because they are able to help us to maintain our physical, mental and the emotional well-being of the crew while we serve our country as prop sailors for the Singapore Navy. Things that I miss back in Singapore, I think there are three things. Uh, my family, my friends, and definitely the food in Singapore. The local food back at home are uh, being missed by everyone on board the ship. Food. Glorious food. The fuel that keeps the crew going, especially during long deployments such as this. The masters behind these creations are Chief Chef Chia Bun Xiong and his team of naval chefs. For me, my interest is in the Gaddy kitchen all this. So I sign on and try out and till now I still love my job. We come out a lot of some type of cuisine like those Western. We got some Chinese food, some uh, Indian, Thai, Korea this cuisine. Familiar local dishes like laksa and chicken rice bring a little piece of home to all on board. After a key wash finish or after the training, they are tired and come over to Gaddy to have a warm meal, I think will bring out their morale. And I think what they are looking for after the end of the day when you finish your training. If you really put in your heart to work, people will appreciate what you do. Sharing a good meal with family and friends is a way of life in sunny Singapore, an island nation surrounded by the sea. It's a way of life that the crew of RSS Supreme commit and dedicate themselves to protect. The things that we do on board are just like a family. For instance, uh, we eat together, we watch movies together, we do domestic cleaning together. Everyone uh, on board treats you like they are family members you can feel at home. This uh, makes uh, our Navy life uh, happier and uh, more meaningful while out at sea. Over the last 60-odd days, old friendships were strengthened and new ones forged as the Republic of Singapore Navy demonstrated its ability to adapt and remain operationally ready, pandemic or not. One of the things that uh, really eased my load is the relationship that I forged with uh, all my crews. So I'm able to bond with them, we learn more new things about each other, crack jokes, to the extent of like even discussing our own personal life problems and like you know advising each other. Contributing to the ship's ability to achieve mission success is the larger Navy family. Mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, children. They form a sea of support for the men and women of RSS Supreme, giving them the peace of mind and strength to carry out their mission. I would say that they have uh, supported me uh, significantly in uh, many aspects, especially during this uh, trying period. They never fail to check on me and uh, motivates me throughout my deployment by sending words of uh, encouragement. During that, a COVID passport has been introduced. The 
being offered an extended video or videos containing the well wishes from our family members on this cycle. We will be distributing these messages. This video that uh, they film and then they talk about like how they miss me and show okay, some of the photos that we had over time. That was very touching and quite interesting to see their faces again. The thing that I most look forward to will be probably spending time with my family again. Like maybe bring them out for meals and just catch up on how they've been like. My family has been sending me a lot of pictures of what they've been eating. Uh. They've been tending me with their food. Okay, but jokes aside, uh, they have been making time to text and call whenever available and uh, listening to uh, what I've been through day to day. Even though we are miles apart, we still can communicate with each other. For the men and women on board RSS Supreme, this extraordinary journey is a memorable one. The successful and safe completion of various exercises is a testament to the professionalism, commitment and tenacity of the crew to rise to the challenge when called upon. One new thing that I really learned about myself is I'm really able to persevere and like uh, do what uh, works that needs to be done. Hand in hand we are helping each other things that we do. Lah. It's been a very invaluable experience uh, sailing with RSS Supreme for Impact. It has given me the opportunity to work with other nations to coordinate and execute a gunnery serials. Due to the large scale of impact, uh, it has exposed me to other nations and how they operate. For one crew member in particular, this journey has taken on a special meaning. My father being the first CEO of Supreme, I felt like I had very big shoes to fill. When I first came on board, some of the crew members would reminisce with me during there are times where my father was in charge. My dad once told me I am my own man. Yes, there is pressure on me, but I like, try not to let it uh, affect me too much and uh, do my things well, especially for the engineering department where many systems are under our control. The crew has really, really played a big part uh, in uh, getting me through this deployment, imparting their knowledge and uh, giving me their guidance. And uh, for that, I'm very grateful. When I return home, the first thing I'll do is I'll get a good night's sleep. Uh. Yeah. I am very proud and uh, to say that, uh, well, everybody has uh, put in their weight, their heart and soul for this deployment. All the crew live up with our motto, surpassing always. Everyone was singular in their focus to get the ship across the finishing line and contributed in their own ways, be it the engineers, the chefs, the bridge team in navigation, and even the warfare teams and we received very positive feedback from other navies. So I'm really proud that we were able to stand tall amongst other navies in the world, fly our flag high, and accomplish the mission as one. The crew displayed excellence, grit, as well as growth at both the individual and the team levels. And I think this is in no small part due to the amount of hard work, the preparation, as well as all the trainings that went in prior. Having a common shared journey, as well as achieving common milestones and goals, we we'll built that uh, bond because we have many uh, fond memories together. Really want to thank the family for, for giving their fullest support to the, the crew of Supreme uh, and, and allowing us to perform our duties with a peace of mind. Every journey must come to an end. The mission of defending our country against seaborne threats and protecting its sea lines of communication continue each day for the men and women of the Republic of Singapore Navy. Through friendship, partnership and leadership, the Navy continues to play an important role in defending our way of life, both here and abroad, safeguarding this little red dot we call home.